Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another flight sim video. This is actually the second time I am recording this video in the last half an hour. My laptop's NVIDIA GeForce Experience recording thing just decided to stop without even telling me it cannot record. So we are back to it again and hopefully this time we'll get it correct. So ready to fly. Let's go. So this flight is going to be a flight to St. Andrew's Tourie from Barclays Air Strip. Weather, okay, weather is a bit, weather is a bit liar. It's not giving me liar. I'll just give a few clouds just to make it look nice. So anyway, this is my aircraft. This is the Carinado Charlie 182 Cessna, basically, Skylane. It is, I believe it's a turbocharged aircraft. And registration obviously, Kilo Sierra Delta, my initials. So, this is the aircraft we're going to use to fly to Turi. Flight time is estimated at about 5 minutes. So this is actually going to be the beginning of a quite an extensive playlist on YouTube because I'm now going to be exploring the whole of Kenya. And the first set of videos is going to be in the Rift Valley. So we're going to start off with Barclays Airstrip to St. Andrews Turi. And then next time will be St. Andrews Turi to another airstrip. I will not do actually every single airstrip. I will do the ones that people kind of know and are kind of obvious like if you're driving on the road you can see them or something so i will go for those type of airstrips but yeah i do hope you enjoy it's going to be a good fun series and after naivasha we'll move to another place uh rift valley will move to another place in kenya which i will disclose to you once we have done the last official video of this series okay so let's get it going so i have my honeycomb yoke here with me so let me just get up a position this person is standing so close like i feel I will knock him with my wing. I doesn't want to move. Anyway, he's fault. So go battery on, alternator on, beacon light, navigation light. Fuel mixture fully rich. Wait for my screen to power up and my key is here. So parking brake set and mags on both and start. Engine is the live. Perfect. Taxi light on, strobe light on, avionics one, two. And that is perfect. We are ready to go. The flight will be fully, I'll fully hand fly the flight, which will be quite cool. So, because it's just five minutes. There's no point of engaging autopilot. Okay, so let's make a move. I'll fly with the external view, just so you guys can see everything. Now, this fellow just doesn't want to move, so I'm just going to leave him there. And if, you know, it's his fault if he gets clipped by my wingtip. But yeah, what I'll do is be a nice pilot and I'll avoid him. And he still stands there, he just doesn't want to move. Quite a stubborn fellow. Anyway, let's get this flight going, reset my view. Watch the bus guy. That bus guy is also aggressive. Okay, so we will backtrack on this runway. I have reduced my graphic setting, guys. Actually, the other video was in high settings. And uh, yeah, my graphics, my laptop was like a burning. And my video was lagging so much on the flare when I was rolling out, uh, when I was rounding out on the flare. God, it's like I, it's it's like what the hell was going on. So anyway, let's see. We'll backtrack this one. We have fifty percent of fuel, which is plenty of fuel. It's a five-minute flight, so it should not take us much. Let us now backtrack over here. We'll just go line line. So we'll do a quick takeoff out of here, so we can get to St. Andrew's Tourie. And last time when I did the video like five minutes ago, there was someone at St. Andrews. So it would be cool to see if that person is in the traffic pattern. He's doing touch and goes or if he's departed straight out to another airport. Okay, we are lined up. Let's go. No, he's still over there. He's that fellow. Cool. We'll meet up with him. Let's go. Full power. Line lights on. Everything on. Well, that was a bit strange because I gave it full power and the response was quite bad. Okay, rotate. Nice. So actually, I'm just going to go to where he is because that's exactly where I want to be. I'll just reduce the RPM a bit. Trim down a bit. To be honest, medium graphics don't look too bad. I put the clouds on high because I like the clouds. But the medium graphics look quite okay. So this is just basically farmland, guys. So not many cities, Not there's no city around here. 
But if you go around to look at that area, Nakuru is somewhere there. Lake Nakuru is in that depression over there. So if you stay tuned to the channel, we will go to Nakuru, we will fly over the lake. And if you continue with the channel, we will go to Naivasha and we'll explore a lot of Kenya. So we're basically going to explore Kenya virtually, which I feel is quite cool. Since the pandemic has taken over, uh, has put a lot of travel restrictions, I believe Flight Simulator has done such a great job in using Bing Maps as their base to allow us to actually go to uh, different places in Kenya. So this will be quite cool actually. And if you do have any requests, please leave them in the comment section. I will definitely do them. I will definitely have a look and see what we can do. So yeah, let's just look at my, yeah, pretty much on course. Even our course in, I don't know if that's a course indicator or something. Yeah, we are pretty much on course. Excuse my lack of professional words over here. Let's reduce the propeller RPM a bit more and reduce power a bit more. Let's just set our, yeah, we don't need too much power. So let's actually follow where he is. He should have landed. I believe that is the elevation being displayed over there. That is the elevation of St. Andrew's Story. So hopefully, hopefully we see him over there. Hopefully we don't have any nasty accidents, as you can imagine. But those of you who drive actually from uh, like Kisumu to Nairobi or even Kisumu to Nairobi or something, this is actually a very long straight road that you come across just before Nakuru town, which is there. That's the lake. Nakuru town is somewhere there. This is one straight long road. Like if it was a runway, we could take off an A380 so easily over here. But unfortunately, it's not. But yeah, this is, it's a really long road and it's just straight, completely straight road, which is quite cool. So back to the flight. This is a river, as you can see, obviously. I don't mean to point out the obvious. Go back in the cockpit. Everything looks just have my QNH2 Nano Decimal 92 because we're not flying with real weather. We are flying with uh, Microsoft's presets. Because the real weather actually sometimes doesn't load properly in the sim. That's what that's what disappoints me a bit. Like there was one time in Nairobi there was quite low visibility, but it loaded clear skies. And I'm thinking that's quite depressing. Because I wanted to fly out using my G1000 fully. And obviously using our instruments, but that didn't happen. So I do apologize again, guys. This this pointer is still here. I need to figure out a way to get rid of it. But this is just basically telling me the... I was meant to take off from the other runway at Parkleys. Um, so, unfortunately, it's actually auto-generated. They actually tell you that you take off from this runway. So, okay, St. Andrew's Tour is there. I'm getting a beeping noise. I don't know what the hell that is. But, let's see. Anyway... That is the airstrip. If you can see, viewers, that is the airstrip. So, obviously, it's not clear. It looks like Minecraft. But when we get closer, it will look much better. Reset my view over here. Go back to the outside. As you can see, even here, it's just farmland. I will do a low flyover over the airstrip. And maybe also the person on ground, if there is a person on ground, can also like kind of vacate the runway for me. Or if he's taking off, he can take off while I'm while I'm doing my uh, crosswind leg. But other than that, yeah, landing lights. I sh I leave my landing lights on and everything, just so the guy can see me. But yeah, side profile. This aircraft is a very good aircraft. It performs so nicely. It flies smooth. It is a high wing, so ballooning on landing is basically my favorite technique. I always balloon, and it's you're not meant to balloon actually, but I always do it. So it's still getting used to flying high wings, obviously. Obviously, not really flying a high wing, but I'm used to pipe away. If I choke power, I will sink. Like, it's not a matter of choke power, flare, hold it, you know. You do hold it, yes. But if you don't hold it, it's going to drop like a stone. Whereas the high wing, high wing has a bit of a glide, a bit of a better... I don't know if it's better necessarily, because low wings, you can actually nail a good landing. But high wings... If you can balloon quite a bit, so that's why I like the low wing because I just choke the power over the threshold and I just nicely come holding it, holding it, holding it, and it just kisses the runway. Whereas high wing, I would imagine if I were to hold it, it could even start climbing again. So, anyway, enough of that. Let's get down to do a low flyover. We'll reduce power and put propeller fully fine. Landing lights are on, yes. And I just want to go into the VFE range, which is velocity flaps extended range, so I can give myself flaps 10 just for the low flyover. 
trim a bit up just so that okay we are in VFE in the white ribbon we'll go for flaps 10 so obviously I'm not that low but yeah so this is the runway guys it's a grass runway quite a quite a smooth runway to be honest and the good thing is it has edge markings so you can kind of identify where the scent is but it has no light so operation at night is impossible and it has no puppy so we don't know if we're on a glide slope as per se but anyway that doesn't matter on bush strips that's where the windsock is and those of you who've been to St. Andrew's Story this is top pitch okay just give it a bit more power to climb over these trees let's keep an eye on the airstrip so we don't lose it and sorry guys for my camera my camera on this Asus is actually situated on the bottom right hand corner of the screen so that's why it's not capturing me in the center so I do apologize for that but there's nothing I can do about that but yeah if you guys are wondering I am gaming my flight sim is being run on a laptop it's not being done on a PC like most people but my laptop is running it quite fine so I don't have any complaints I'll just trim down a bit and I'll go for flaps 20 okay that is the runway okay so I will now begin my base leg turn and on final approach is when I'll select flaps full for our short field approach this runway is inclined so it will not take much to slow us down but that is not an excuse to touch down late it's a very short runway and in the uh, in the unlikely event that you need to do a go around the trees are quite high so you would want to clear that so you'd want to make up your decision before getting anywhere near that threshold okay so we're on final landing lights are on flaps full okay we're maintaining 70 I'm not too sure for those 182 pilots on my channel I'm so sorry if I'm doing anything wrong okay nose to threshold and choke it that's my shadow hold it 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 and that's what we call kissing the runway man I'm proud of myself well as you can see the aircraft is slowing no manual braking nothing at all the aircraft is slowing well put flaps up uh, just let the aircraft sit on the runway and now I need actually power to climb up to the parking so I'll just go landing lights off Yeah, can you imagine I'm using almost 1500 uh, RPM just to climb up this hill you can imagine it's, it's it's quite steep actually I've done this before with the Cessna and I've actually used that much power so quite realistic actually but I haven't flown the 182 so those 182 pilots on my channel I do apologize for anything I have done unorthodox but there is no piper and actually the piper would not perform over here because the piper is 140 horsepower and this density altitude is quite high because we are at an elevation of 8160 okay we'll park the aircraft here perfect ladies and gentlemen welcome to St. Andrew's Tury it is a school it's a Christian boarding school but it does have an airstrip attached to it so that is it for the video so what I'll do is we'll switch the aircraft off we'll do dead cut which is taking the mags switch to off and back to both back to both you heard the engine cut out it came back on which is good taxi lights off avionics one two off and I'll go mixture cut off and obviously it ends me over here but I'll just continue and there we go engine has shut off so we'll go strobes off nav light beacon off and yeah batteries off oh, and master off so you can see aircraft is cold and dark nothing is on fuel is there no off yes there is can I change it off ah, fuel off perfect so ladies and gentlemen that is the flight to St. Andrew's Tour. I do hope you enjoyed that flight stay tuned to the channel there will be more videos if you do like these videos please click that, click that subscribe button it does not take much of your time and please hit the thumbs up button and hit the bell icon if you'd like to get notified whenever I post a new video so this is the first video like I mentioned in the series of the Rift Valley of Kenya we will be departing from this airstrip for the next flight and to where we will go will be a surprise to you guys Thank you very much ladies and gentlemen and I hope you enjoyed. Stay safe guys. Bye bye.